Praise God. Jesus, bless the eyes and ears of the listeners. I plead your blood on this lesson in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, you all. Went live on uh, YouTube. It went great. Um, we have Google Meets tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, the room opens at 8. The class starts at 8.30 p.m. The code is RAO-UBOF-MVI. If you have a desktop or laptop, just search Google Meets and put the code in. If you have a cell phone, download the app. It's free. Okay, so right now we're talking about knowing God, knowing God's will and all that. So we're going to learn some names of God. Some of the names of God. I'm going to give you scripture. Have your Bibles. I mean, I'm have your pens and paper notebooks, your notebooks and pens ready to write. Okay, one of the names of God is Adonai. So you write Adonai. The side of it. You can abbreviate things as I as I tell it to you because you need space or keep on going. You know, just write this down. Adonai. It means the Lord, my great Lord. Okay, the application is God is the master and majestic Lord. God is our total authority. You could put total authority. Some scripture for that is Isaiah 43 through 5. Okay, there's more, but that's, that's enough for now. It's pronounced Adonai. Okay, it's derived from the singular Adon. Adon, A-D-O-N, Adon, A-D-O-N equals Lord. Okay, so it's derived from the singular Adon. So this term was pronounced in substitution of Yahweh, because Yahweh was considered too sacred to be uttered. So they said Adonai, because it was, uh, the word Yahweh was too sacred to even be spoken from our lips. All right? So you have Adonai. Okay, you have El. E-L. All right, that means the strong one. All right, he is more powerful than any false god. God will overcome all obstacles, and we can depend on God. Numbers 23, 22. All right, you have El, Elohi, Yisrael. El Elohi Yisrael. Okay. That means God, the God of Israel. All right. The God of Israel is distinct and separate from all false gods of the world. Genesis 33 20. Genesis 33 20. There's more, but you can just start there. Genesis 33, 20. So it's pronounced El, Elohe, Yisrael. All right. The name of the altar that Jacob erected after his encounter with God and God's blessing upon him. Okay. Israel. Okay. You have El Elyon. El Elyon. El Elyon means the God Most High. He is the sovereign God in whom we can put our trust. El Elyon has supremacy over all false gods. Scripture is, uh, there's a few, put Genesis 14 verses 17 through 22, Acts 16, 17. All right, it's pronounced L E. I mean, L L U N. I'm sorry, L L U N. <laughs> okay, Melchizedek, the king of Salem, Jerusalem, and the priest of God, Most High, referred to God as L L U N three times when he blessed Abram. Okay. Another word is Elohim. Let me erase these, y'all. I need some room. Try to write these down. You might need to back up the video or something. I can't 
keep buying markers when I open them. They don't work. <laughs> uh, Elohim. We have Elohim. Elohim. Okay, is the all-powerful one. God is the all-powerful creator of the universe. God knows all, creates all, and is everywhere at all times. The plural form of L. Okay, Genesis 1, 1 through 3. Mark 13, 19. Pronounced Elohim, plural forms of L. This name is usually associated with God in relation to his creation. Some people use the plural word Elohim as proof for the Trinity in Genesis 1.26. Elohim is also used to refer to false gods and even human judges in Psalms 82, uh, 6 to 7 and John 10.34. Another word is El Olam. El Olam. These are names of God. El Olam. The eternal God, the everlasting God, he is the beginning and the end, the one who works his purposes throughout the ages. He gives strength to the weary. Psalms 91 through 2, Romans 120. It's pronounced El Olam. Jesus Christ possesses the eternal attributes. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He obtained eternal redemption for us. Hebrews 9, 12. El Roy. El R O I El Roy. The God who sees me. There are no circumstances in our life that escape his fatherly awareness and care. Okay, God knows us and our troubles. Genesis 16, 11 through 14. Okay. Uh, okay, El Roy. Hagar called the Lord by his name. Beside a fountain of water in the wilderness. God knows all our thoughts and feelings. Jesus knew the thoughts of those around him. Demonstrating that he is um, El Roy. Okay. El Shaddai. El Shaddai. El Shaddai. El Shaddai. S-H-A-D-D-A-I. El Shaddai. Eloheinu Adonai. You know the song. El Shaddai, the all-sufficient one, the God of the mountains, God Almighty. God is the all-sufficient source of all our blessings. God is all-powerful. Our problems are not too big for God to handle. Psalms 90 verse 2. Okay. You have Emmanuel. Emmanuel. You got the L in front here and L here. Emmanuel, which means God is with us, or I am. I am. So Jesus is God in our midst. In him, all the fullness of deity dwells in bodily form. Okay. Um, Isaiah 7, 14. Matthew 1, 23. You have Jehovah. You can say Yahweh. Let's put Jehovah. Jehovah. Oops. What am I doing? I can't see with your glass on. Jehovah H. Or you can put uh, W H Y H. W H Y H. Now that's the name. Well, I tell you, W Y H W H. That's the name that's sacred. That was sacred to the Old Testament. They didn't want to say the name Yah um, Yahweh. Okay, but Jehovah, I am the one who is the self-existent one. I am. Okay, God never changes. His promises never fail. When we are faithless, he is faithful. We need to obey him. Okay, understand that. We need to obey him. Um, you can look at Exodus 3, 14. Psalms 102. Okay, another name. 
Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. Which means the Lord will provide. So just as God provided a ram as a substitute for Isaac, he provided his son Jesus as the ultimate sacrifice. God will meet all of our needs. Okay? You have Jehovah. Um, hold on now. Nekad. Ishkan. Let's see how to pronounce this now. <laughs> Jehovah Mekadishkim. Okay, which means the Lord who sanctifies. God sets us apart as a chosen people, a royal priesthood, holy unto God, a people of his own. He cleanses our sin and helps us mature. Scripture for that is Exodus 31, 12 through 13. 1 Peter 1, 15 through 16. Okay, then you have Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Ni, let's see, N I S S I. Jehovah Nisi. Which means the Lord is my banner. God gives us victory against the flesh, the world, and the devil. Our battles are his battles of light against darkness and good and evil. Scripture for that is Deuteronomy 20, 3-4, Ephesians 6, 10-18. It's pronounced Jehovah Nisi, also known as Yahweh Nisi. Name of the altar built by Moses after defeating the Amalekites at Rephidim. Isaiah prophesies... That the root of Jesse, Jesus, will stand as a banner for the peoples in Isaiah 11, 10. Okay, we're going to stop right there. There's more. Um, we will go through Google Meets on more names of God Almighty tonight. There's a whole slew of them, y'all. But here I want you to at least get a start. Write the names down. Look them up. Understand them. Look, read the scriptures I gave you. I called out to you. Start understanding who God is. All right? In the name of Jesus Christ, I plead the blood of Jesus on each one of you. Um, I have to get ready to study for my Google Meets now, okay? Um, but God bless each one of you. Thank some of you for what you've done, obeying God with this particular ministry and helping this ministry grow. Thank you for that. In Jesus' name, I pray for each one of you. I pray for your safety and your well-being in the name of Jesus and your growth. In Jesus' name, God bless you all. Anything you need to know is in the description. God bless you.